I think it's frustrating how much effort we put into staying healthy, eating well, exercising, managing stress, only to know that there are several everyday products in our homes that quietly disrupt our hormones and work against us. Things we touch, things we cook with, things we breathe in. Your hormones control everything from energy to mood to how well you age. So protecting them is one of the best long-term health moves you can make. So in today's video, we're looking at five hidden endocrine disruptors you're probably using every single day, where they show up, and how you can make simple swaps to keep your body on the same team as your healthy habits. Most of us use them without realizing they can influence our metabolism, our mood, our energy, and our long-term health. And the frustrating part is that many of these chemicals weren't even on our radar 10 or 20 years ago, and now, they're everywhere. Number one, let's start with a biggie, PFAs. These are so-called forever chemicals found in nonstick cookware, air fryer baskets, takeout boxes, and even some cosmetics. The issue is that PFAs can interfere with your endocrine system, including your thyroid hormones, estrogen, testosterone, and cortisol balance. And because they don't break down easily, they build up in your body over time. When nonstick coating heats up or gets scratched, tiny microscopic particles can make their way into your food or into the air. And several studies have raised concern about the long-term impact of PFAs exposure. Research published in Environmental Health Perspectives has linked higher PFAs levels in the blood to altered thyroid function, which can affect energy, weight regulation, and overall metabolism. Other studies have found associations between PFAs exposure and reduced testosterone in men, irregular menstrual cycles in women, and high higher cortisol rhythms tied to chronic stress. And because these chemicals stay in the body for years, even low-level exposure from cookware, from packaging, or household items can add up. Scientists are now calling PFAs one of the most persistent and widespread hormone disruptors in modern life, which is why reducing avoidable exposure makes such a measurable difference. So what are healthier alternatives? Let's switch to stainless steel, to cast iron, to ceramic or to glass cookware. And if you're using an air fryer, pick one that's PFAs free, ideally with a glass bowl. I just switched my air fryer to one with a glass bowl, even though I loved my old Ninja air fryer, but I did look and it had tiny scratches and I'm not risking it. I do a lot of stuff to stay healthy and I don't wanna mess up my health with the air fryer I use. So I switched to a non-toxic air fryer. I'll probably make a whole video about non-toxic air fryers soon. Um, they cost a little more, but honestly, it's one of the easiest long-term upgrades you can make. Number two, BPA and BPS, plastics that mimic hormones. BPA and its cousin, BPS. These are found in water bottles, food containers, canned food linings, and even receipts, those paper thermal receipts we get at pretty much every store. BPA can act like estrogen in the body, which can throw off your hormonal balance. Heat is the big problem, right? When you heat plastic, BPA and BPS can leach into your food more easily. Researchers have been studying BPA for years, and one of the most important findings came from a large study published in the Journal of the Endocrine Society. It showed that people with higher BPA levels had measurable changes in hormone activity, including altered estrogen and thyroid signaling, even at doses once considered safe. The reason is that BPA doesn't behave like a normal toxin. It acts like a hormone mimic. It can bind to estrogen receptors and send mixed messages throughout the body, influencing everything from metabolism to reproductive health. And even though many products now claim to be BPA-free, companies often replace it with BPS, unfortunately, which early studies suggest may be just as disruptive as BPA. Another study from the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences found that BPA exposure is especially problematic when combined with heat, like we already mentioned, or repeated wear and tear on plastic containers, right? Microwaving running plastics through the dishwasher, or leaving a water bottle in a hot car, significantly increases how much of these chemicals migrate into your food or drink. And over time, even small amounts can add up. That's why switching to glass or stainless steel isn't just you know, some fancy upgrade. It's one of the simplest ways to reduce daily hormone interference without changing anything else about your routine. So healthier alternatives for BPA, switch to glass containers for storing and reheating food especially. 
choose stainless steel water bottles. And when a cashier tries to hand your receipt, just say no, ask them to throw it in the trash or ask for a digital copy, you know, input your email address and then have them email you the receipt if you really need it. On to number three, phthalates, the fragrance chemicals. These are used to make fragrances stick to products. If a label says fragrance or perfume, it often means phthalates, unless the brand says otherwise. They're linked to reduced testosterone, disrupted thyroid function, and even fertility changes. One of the most influential studies on phthalates come from researchers at Harvard, and it was published in Human Reproduction. They found that higher levels of certain phthalates in adults were associated with significantly lower testosterone, not just in men, but in women as well. Testosterone plays a vital role in energy, in metabolism, in muscle maintenance, and overall well-being. So these hormone shifts can ripple through many areas of our health. Another study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism showed that phthalate exposure was linked to altered thyroid hormone levels, which helps explain why people sometimes report fatigue or feeling, you know, off without realizing their household products might be part of the issue. What makes phthalates especially tricky is how widespread they are. They're not only used in perfumes and body sprays, they show up in scented candles, for example, air fresheners, laundry detergents. Fragrances are legally protected as trade secrets, which means companies aren't required to list the chemicals inside them, which leaves consumers completely in the dark. Reducing exposure doesn't mean eliminating nice smells from your life. It's simply about choosing products that are transparent and labeled phthalate free or using naturally scented options like essential oil diffusers instead. Even a few simple swaps can significantly lower daily exposure. So healthier alternatives. The easy swap out, right? Use essential oils or non-toxic diffusers instead of scented candles or air fresheners. Pick fragrance free or phthalate free personal care products and choose a clean, non-toxic laundry detergent, unscented ideally, or scent it with real oils. Your home's still gonna smell great, just without the hormone disruption. On to number four, parabens. Preservatives with hormone activity. These are preservatives found in lotions, shampoos, conditioners, body washes, deodorants, basically anything that's wet and that needs to stay shelf stable. Parabens can mimic estrogen, and high exposure has been linked to hormonal imbalance over time, right? One of the most important studies on parabens was published in Environmental Health Perspectives, where researchers found measurable levels of parabens in human urine, blood, and even breast tissue. But the impact becomes more significant when you consider cumulative exposure, right? Exposure over and over. Most people use multiple products daily lotion, shampoo, sunscreen, deodorant, and the small amounts from each product can add up over the years. So this cumulative load is what scientists focus on when they talk about parabens contributing to hormonal disruptions. Another study in the Journal of Applied Toxicology found that parabens were able to penetrate the skin and remain biologically active. This matters because we often assume that topical products stay on the surface, but skin absorption means parabens can enter circulation and interact with hormone sensitive tissues. So this research is what kicked off this whole wave of paraben free skincare. And it's why many dermatologists now recommend choosing products with cleaner, preservatives when possible. Thankfully, it's a really easy swap. Most modern formulas use safer alternatives so you can reduce your exposure without giving up, you know, effective skincare. Look for labels that say paraben-free. Brands that use clean preservatives will always highlight it. Your skin absorbs more than you think. Now, the point isn't to be paranoid or to throw out half the stuff in your house. Yes, these chemicals are everywhere but small swaps can dramatically reduce your exposure, especially when done over years. Cook with safer materials. Avoid plastics for hot foods especially. Pick cleaner skincare. Freshen your home without heavy synthetic fragrances. Your hormones control everything from energy to mood to how well you age. So protecting them is one of the best long-term health moves you can make. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.